44 thousand dollars bitcoin has continued its reversal as it's now testing a key fibonacci level as well as the key forty-five thousand dollar level a breakthrough here would put us back in this range right here which is basically has a bottom of forty-five thousand and a top of around fifty three fifty four thousand dollars and if we break through this level and then break through this level right here then my friends, I think we will be seeing all time highs a lot sooner than we all thought just a couple weeks ago. Today, we will be analyzing Bitcoin's current path to see what we can expect this coming week. And then, of course, we will also cover some of our favorite trade setups for this week. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to help you get up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and smash the like button. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video. All right, guys. So first, let's go over the trade setups that we gave you guys on Friday's video. So the first trade setup that we gave you guys was at $42,000. Remember, we wanted to enter on the break above 42,000. That's exactly what we got yesterday. And if you were able to ride that up to the point where we are right now, that would be around 5.8% profit. If you use leverage like we do, that's around 58% profit using 10x leverage. In Ethereum, we told you guys that the breakout entry we were watching for was $3,000. If you guys entered there and wrote it up to its current price today, that would be also another 5.8% profit. And if you use our recommended leverage, which is usually 10X, that's 58% profit on that trade. You can see our open positions here in Bitcoin. We've been basically writing it as it's gone up, taking profits on the way and leaving runners and then of course entering new positions at certain levels. So you can see that we currently have about $7,400 in profit opened right now. We've currently taken about another $5,000 in profit. And in Ethereum, we also have about $5,600 in unrealized profits right now. Altogether, we're sitting at about $18,000 in profit. And this is just over the last few days. If you guys want to trade with leverage like we do, so you can follow along with us, you can start by watching our Bybit tutorial. If you just go to our channel here and type in Bybit, you will see that we have several tutorials here on how to use Bybit. Our most recent one being this one right here, which we put up three months ago. And of course, if you want to sign up for Bybit, make sure to go down to the description, hit show more. And we have our partnership link right here with Bybit where you can earn a bonus on your initial deposit. So make sure to check that out, guys. All right, so let's jump into today's analysis. As you guys can see here, we pointed out this hidden bullish divergence about two weeks ago. While everyone and their mother was saying that Bitcoin was going sub 30,000, we kept telling you guys a bounce needs to happen here. The same way prices can't just go up, they also can't just go down. Once we spotted this hidden bullish divergence, of course, with this falling wedge and the oversold daily RSI, we knew it was only a matter of time. Now we do need to keep an eye on this RSI because it is getting very, very high. If we continue with this type of move up, we're very quickly going to be back in the overbought territory. And as we always tell you guys, whenever it's oversold or overbought on the daily, usually there's a reverse, right? So you can see last time that we had a similar move to what we're seeing right now, we quickly got overbought and had a pullback. So you can see it was a very, very small pullback, but a pullback indeed before continuing up. Now, once that happened, what you'll see is that we started seeing a bearish divergence as the RSI was lower, but prices were higher. This brought a massive correction during September before we then continued back to the upside. Now, during this move up, once again, we had lots of green days in a row, putting us back in that overbought area, which of course then led to a drop and consolidation period 
for about two weeks or so before printing a new all time high. Of course, this printed a lower, of course, this printed a lower high on the RSI, which caused another bearish divergence and another big drop, which is where we currently are right now. So this is why using certain tools is very important. And also looking back in history to see exactly what happened when we had similar situations, similar patterns, this type of stuff will help us try to get out at the best time possible. So with the current price action here, you can see that we have a clear breakout of the falling wedge, which is of course a bullish reversal signal. That together with the weekly hidden bullish divergence has pretty much told us that the bottom is in and that we're probably going to continue up. Now we're at a main level here. We need to break out and above this area. You can see last time we were here, we got rejected, which sent us falling way down to retest these lower levels. Now I'm definitely expecting a breakout at this point. We've reclaimed this long-term support. Now it's basically just a matter of time here. I think that we probably do break above this level this week. And at that point we should be visiting 47 to 48 K um, and beyond. So you can see once we break into this level right here, the top of this level is up here, which is around 54,000. The bottom of this level is where basically we currently are around $45,000. You'll see how every time we break through one of these Fibonacci levels, we always end up either testing or breaking through the next level. So I expect to see something similar here. If we can break above this level, then we'll start kind of trading within this range. And I expect a retest of the top of this range at some point. The next thing that we need to reclaim here as well is the 50 week moving average, which currently sits around $48,000. So I definitely expect to test that and eventually break that as well as we continue to the top of the level up here. Now, last time we had a similar breakout, you can see that once we broke above this level, we retested this right here, which is currently where we're sitting right now. And you'll see as soon as we broke above that, then we slowly grinded to the top of this range up here. Then you see we got this rejection here before once again breaking out of this level and again testing this level and breaking out of it at that point. So that's pretty much what we're expecting here. We're not expecting to go directly up, but we're expecting to continue breaking out, breaking these levels, probably see some smaller pullbacks as we continue up. I would think that the pullbacks will probably come once we start seeing the RSI on the daily in the overbought territory. That's when you could probably expect some pullbacks. Then I would expect a continuation up after the pullbacks, probably setting up and then we got to reevaluate from there, right? So it is definitely possible to see some new all time highs tested in the next couple months, really, maybe even sooner. You know how Bitcoin is, guys. Bitcoin moves very, very fast. Now, looking at the heat maps here, you can see that we have some orders. The, the biggest orders currently sit around 44,700. 44,750. So that's why we've been getting rejected at those levels. A few orders at 45,000, but really not too much here. There's no huge sell walls that pop out to me here. Now you could also see here this huge gap, right? So this gap basically starts off here where we currently are. Once we get above this level, which is pretty much 45,000, I'm expecting us to basically cover this entire gap here, right? So on a break of 45,000, I'm thinking we cover this gap, which basically goes all the way up to around 46 is when it's the, the interest starts coming back in. But the more important levels are probably going to be 47 to $48,000. Once above 48, we basically have another gap here. Once above 48, we basically have another small gap here. And you see after 50,000, this, this is just a huge drop off here, right? and it doesn't pick back up to around 55,000. So those are all levels that we will definitely be paying attention to and keeping you guys informed about. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the trade setups that we will be watching this week. The main trade that we're going to be looking at is a main level that we've already mentioned multiple times. So you know we're going to be taking that trade. That's a breakout above this Fibonacci level. So if we see 
this break here above $45,000. It's the, the Fibonacci is not exactly at 45, but it's close enough. We're going to be looking to enter above 45. And basically, like we showed you guys, there's really not much going on until around 47, right? So we'll be looking to take profits as it moves up but we want to hold at least the majority of our position until at least between 47 and 48,000, right? That's where we really want to sell the majority of our positions at those levels. And then at that point, we'll be setting up new entries above 48,000. Cause if we break above 48,000, it's almost a guarantee to test 50. So then we'll be looking to take profits as close to 50 as possible, right? And we just keep playing this game. Above 50, we're going to look for another entry there. Above, you know, 54, et cetera, et cetera. So of course we will keep you guys all in the loop. But for this week, the main trade that we're watching, which is the very next trade that we're looking to take is above $45,000. Very similar thing going on here in Ethereum. You see that we're also breaking out of this falling wedge. Ethereum was also, of course, oversold here. That basically marked the bottom. And now we're here at a main crossroads, right? We're at a main level. And that level is $3,200. So for Ethereum to break above 32, it will probably coincide with Bitcoin breaking above 45. So you'll be looking, you'll probably be taking both trades at the same time. That's the trade that we're watching here in Ethereum above 3,200. We can expect that to run up possibly to around 3,800. Keep in mind that Ethereum is very correlated with Bitcoin right now. So it's just going to follow Bitcoin. So there's no need to analyze Ethereum price action because it's just following Bitcoin and the same goes for the majority of altcoins at this moment. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you watched it till this point, make sure to drop it in the comments. Let me know that you watched it till the end. Also, if you've gotten to this point, don't forget to smash that like button. Remember, we're trying to hit 100 likes on this video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications. And if you have any questions about anything that we covered today, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's hopefully have a great week. As always, peace and love.